warning, <laughs> there is nothing audio related in this video, no? Just I want to share with you something really interesting. What the hell on the earth? <laughs> this barrel, which is same like this, what you can see over there. So what the hell on the earth this barrel is doing in the ground? The idea is, we will make a fire into this barrel, then the whole area around the barrel will be really hot. So then, we will place inside uh, this uh, steel element, what I just uh, welded yesterday. And on here, will be the place where we will place the vegetables and potato and tomato, I don't know, whatever. And here, on this road, we will hook up uh, the two big uh, meat. So, uh, all together, it's uh, the time, it will be around uh, 10 hours or something like this, because the fire needs to be run off for two hours. And then the meat and the vegetables has to be sit inside around six or eight hour long. Definitely some kind of Arab uh, <laughs> barbecue solution. And we are really interested in it. How will be the taste and the meat will became really delicious and uh, soft and whatever. Because of course, from the vegetables, from the bottom, will generate a lot of uh, steam and the heat and the smoke inside will be cooked together everything and I think it will be uh, really amazing. Oh, the fire is like one hour long is running and uh, as you can see it, the soil up to let's say 10 centimeters is, uh, is get really hot. So I think the best if we get around 20 centimeters of hot soil and I think now inside in the barrel it's about uh, 800 or 700 degrees, something like this. Of course I did uh, this uh, with hand with the tools and uh, maybe can some oil on it or some dirt on dust. Then this I will put inside to make uh, this one also hot and clean. And then Razi, she will come with all the goodies, <laughs> with all the meats and all the vegetables. Ah! is freaking hot. After two hours, now the bottom is looks exactly the same like uh, the what is the best for barbecue. Maybe you can see from here, but it's so really, it's really hot. The inside, if I place now the meat inside, it will burn immediately. Yeah, I think I need to wait like uh, more 20 minutes or half an hour, something like this. We shape the, all the carbon like, uh, like this, like in a concave shape. So now all the heat is still going into the soil and into the barrel. So maybe you can see over there it's more like uh, 30 centimeters, something like this. Yeah, it's, uh, <laughs> it's really interesting. I never did something like this. And I think I get uh, some friends are coming now. Yeah. Here is the meat, but Razi Noti is, is uh, Jereve from Romania. This is uh, what Razi prepared. <laughs> Uh, for a cooking. We have uh, here, it's lamb, and this is also lamb, and this is a, a really nice piece of lamb again. It's a, almost a full leg, as you can see. And now I did here a really sharp pin from <laughs> welding stick from yesterday. And I also have here some kind of uh, steel soft wire. And now I will hook up all this meat to this uh, metal construction. And then we will place inside into the fire because now the fire is really moderated. As you can see, you can barely see the bottom of the barrel in the middle. And now the temperature is like about, I think on the bottom it's like uh, five, six hundred degrees, something like this. And we have here a bench of vegetables, uh, mainly potato, tomato, some onion, whatever. And this is we also we place inside. Okay, here is the meat prepared. And don't ask uh, from me the recipe for this uh, special uh, <laughs> spices or whatever. This is some kind of Israeli uh, mix. And uh, this is how we will place inside into the barrel. And then of course we will uh, drop on it uh, the oil and in this really nice uh, Israeli mix of uh, Mm, spices, whatever. Whatever? Very nice. Mm -hmm. 
Good. Mmm, I feel already, yeah? <laughs> yeah, I feel already. It's uh, really, it's already started. So now, take this and just... Yeah, yeah on, on a meat, yeah? On a big, just a bit. Yeah, nice. And to the others. Ah, look at this. This is something unbelievable. Ah, you feel it? Whoa. Put more uh, on, on, on the leg. Good? That's it. Yes. So now we will close it. Good. <laughs> so we managed inside <laughs> everything and we closed the, the, uh, the top of the barrel with uh, the original uh, locker and now yeah it's, it's, it's hot inside and uh, I did uh, open the original uh, place where the, the tap is coming because it's generating so much steam and pressure so I don't want <laughs> to blow up this uh, barrel and last, uh, last moment we have to cover all and now we just have to wait like uh, five or six hours, something like this. Put more, more, more. Of course now the, the soil is a bit uh, wet because of the rain. That it will dry out in <laughs> two seconds, something like this. I hope uh, this will work. <laughs> okay, now I think uh, we have to leave this as is. And uh, after six hours, <laughs> we will open. <laughs> <laughs> Look, she just uh, started the work now, so <laughs> I think in a couple of hours she will arrive to the top of the tree. But look at the, the systematic work of this bird, it's unbelievable. Now she is just uh, knocking on the wood, what she can find inside. And uh, I, I saw her, she's running like in a spiral kind of movement. Yeah, now she's on the other side. But the nature, guys, it's absolutely amazing. Yeah, you see, so now she's running around until she finds some sweet spot where she can find some worm or insects inside. And this is a really, really sophisticated way to do this uh, special job. Here we are about uh, half an hour later and uh, the top surface of this soil it's like uh, 10 centimeter or let's say like uh, 4 inch it uh, get really hot it's like about 90 degrees or something like this mm, maybe you can see is releasing some kind of steam with, uh, with the smell of uh, of uh, all the vegetables and all the meat so it's already oh guys this uh, sorry this you cannot feel by the youtube but let me tell you oh my gosh the it will be really 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 tasty i cannot imagine what's going on inside in this 200 liter barrel like five centimeter or let's say two inch from the edge of the barrel so here it's yeah it's really really hot yeah, but the problem with that you cannot see what's going on inside and you cannot check your meats nothing <laughs> you just can open after when the whole process is done so <sighs> I really don't know the name. So what is this? So the name, name is Matfuna. Matfuna. Yes. Yeah. And which nation is doing that? Like Euro all the nations in the Middle East believe they invented this uh, concept. I, <laughs> I just Everybody called. Uh, I just called Arab barbecue. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Actually, it's kind of Arab barbecue. Mhm. Mm That's it. We find. That she is Razi. She prepared the meat. You think 
a tuna in Africa. So we find it in YouTube and Iraqi street food. Mm. Our best. Daniel. More hungry people arrived. Hi. Hi. <laughs> What's the name again? Matfuna. 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 Hello. Hi. Hello. Welcome to Berlin. I'm fine with you. <laughs> so hot here. Yeah. Oh my God. <laughs> this is the way how to make bread in Israel? Wow, wow, wow! Yeah, I think it's enough. Yeah, I think it's enough. <laughs> More hungry people than <laughs> Soft, eh? mm. What do you say? Very good. So let's try to take the potatoes. Ah, look at this. Maybe more? Mm. No, it's enough. Okay. okay. She like a soup. Wow. That's it. <laughs> <laughs> bon appetit. 